2011, a lawsuit was begun to reclaim the rights to villains and vigilantes by its original creators. We're not going to go into the legal details, but suffice it to say, those of us who were following along, paying attention to this, this lawsuit, this was good news. And while it doesn't seem to have been a complete and overwhelming victory, it's still substantial. While the rights to produce the game have been you know, regained, the, the trademark is still owned uh, by a separate entity, but it's a trademark that the original creators can use. And so uh, I learned of this a couple of weeks ago on the 14th of April by reading the Workbench blog. And you know, there are the details were presented as well as the very helpful link to Lulu to get print copies of villains and vigilantes with you know the new or you know, regained publication rights within. And so I did. And today they have arrived. It's taken about two weeks. Uh, I ordered on the 15th, which is when I read the, the blog article. And then a few days later, you know, I got the new the Lulu notification that uh, the books had been printed and were being shipped, and then I got shipping notice. And today, or possibly yesterday, they arrived. So let's take a look. We've looked at Lulu packages before. It's a heavy plastic bubble wrap envelope. This one has experienced a little damage in delivery. The envelope has. I don't think the books have. And uh, let's tear it open and take a look. Looking inside, we have our packing slip. And I ordered two things. I ordered Villains and Vigilantes, as I said, which is a pretty slim volume. And I also ordered Living Legends as, you know, a point of comparison. The game describes itself as the first complete superhero RPG, and if legend is true, our two creators, Jeff D. and Jack Herman, as teens, created the game to figure out who would really win in fictional duels between their favorite comic book superheroes. Now, in this version, we can see that everything that makes Villains and Vigilantes what it is is now once again owned by Jack Herman and Jeff D. The trademark... Villains and Vigilantes is still owned by Scott Bizar. This version of the game is copyright 2010, and it's an update of the 1982 edition. It has new art and some updates. It's billed as the 2.1 edition. Taking pride of place among all the many dedications, we see the name of Brent Rose, the lawyer who helped them regain the rights. The book is just 60 pages, very small font, hard cardstock covers, and very thick pages. When I say small font, I'm not kidding. To pack the game into this small a package, there isn't a lot of art, but what there is certainly puts your mind where it's supposed to be. Comic book heroes. Comic book villains. Fighting for good and evil. Wasting no space at all, the back contains an origin story comic. So just by picking up the book, you, all, <laughs> you get hit in the face with what this game really is. There's a character sheet in the back, inspiration from cover to cover, and a game that focuses very specifically on turning you, the player, into a villain or vigilante. The idea of challenging you, the player, with what would you do if you had the power started here. Now, Living Legends is Jeff D's solo effort as a game designer for superheroes. Living Legends is an attempt at a universal system like you would find with Mutants and Masterminds. I haven't read it, so I can't speak intelligently about it, but I'll show you a little bit inside it. You see larger font, has a slightly higher page count, but based on my flip through, seems to be taking a similar approach. We have polyhedral dice, we've got charts and tables and lists of powers, 
and although the concept of playing yourself is still here, it has slid a little bit into the background. Like Villains and Vigilantes, the paper is thick, clear, the covers are heavy, and both games should be able to withstand regular use at the table with no trouble, as you'd expect from any product through Lulu. Both games offer a whole lot of material in their small page count. This is not something that is filled with you know, huge one-page panels of art or splash pages or chapter headings or, or what have you. Every page is devoted to the game within. I can't yet speak about gameplay from Living Legends, but Villains and Vigilantes I remember as being a whole lot of fun. And while the game is significantly smaller and significantly older, it is a beloved old-school classic for a reason. Villains and Vigilantes, back again in the hands of its creators.